Hello and welcome back to another lecture. When you create a build job that will automatically apply your Terraform script and create your resources in your AWS account, you have to store your Terraform state file in an S3 bucket. If your Terraform state file is not stored in an S3 bucket, in this lecture, I'll show you how to store your Terraform state file in an S3 bucket. To store your Terraform state file in an S3 bucket, the first thing we have to do is create the S3 bucket we will store our state file in. So in the management console, type S3 in the search box and select S3 under services. Click create bucket and give the bucket a name. Remember that the name of S3 bucket has to be unique across all accounts. Once you've given your bucket a name, select the region where you want to create the bucket. I'll create the bucket in US East 1. Then scroll down. We will leave all these other options as default. Under bucket versioning, you must enable bucket versioning. So select enable and scroll all the way down and click create bucket. There you go. We have created the S3 bucket that we will store the Terraform state file in. Select it. And this is the bucket. Once we have created the S3 bucket, we will store the state file in. The next thing we have to do is go into our Terraform project. In your Terraform project, open the file that has the provider block that you are using to authenticate with your AWS environment. For example, in my Terraform project, the file is the ec2.tf. I'll select it. And here you can see my provider block. So under your provider block, I want you to press enter twice. Then the next thing I want you to do is open this syntax in this video's description. Once you've opened this syntax, select everything and right click to copy. Once you copy it, close it, then paste it in here. Once you paste it, this is the syntax we will use to store our Terraform state file in an S3 bucket. Here we have specified Terraform and under it we have backend. The backend where we want to store our state file is S3. So the first option is bucket. And here we will enter the bucket name we want to store our state file in. Let's go to the management console to copy our bucket name. In the management console, select your bucket name here. Right click to copy it. Then go back to your Terraform project. And under bucket, enter double quote and paste your bucket name in there. The next option we have is key, and this is the name we want to give the state file when we store it in the S3 bucket. So let's enter double quotes, and I will show you the two options that you will typically see. The first option is we will enter terraform.tf state. When you enter a file name like this, this means that in the S3 bucket you have specified, Terraform will add a file and it will call the file terraform.tf state. But another option your company will typically use to store their state file is here before the terraform.tf state, they will add something like this. So here I have add build forward slash tf state. And what this means is when Terraform stores your state file in the S3 bucket you specify, first Terraform will create a folder called build. And in that folder, it will store your state file in there. This is a good option to use if you want to store the state file for multiple projects in the same S3 bucket. So first, you can create a folder for each project and store your state file in that folder. I'm going to use this setting. The next option is region. And this is the region where the S3 bucket is located. My S3 bucket is located in US East 1. So I'll copy this and paste it here. And the final option is profile. And this is the profile we will use to authenticate with our AWS environment. The profile I am using is Terraform user. So I'll copy this profile here and paste it here. This is the syntax we will use to store the Terraform state file in an S3 bucket. So what I want you to do is save your file. We'll select file and select save all. Once you have saved your work, the next thing we will do is run Terraform apply to test that our script is working. 
I'm going to right click on the ec2.tf file and select open in integrated terminal. In the terminal, the first command I will type is terraform init. Once you type Terraform init, press enter. And there you go. If I scroll up here, here you can see that it has successfully configured the backend S3. This means that it has stored our state file in an S3 bucket. The next thing we will do is just run Terraform apply to make sure that our script is working properly. Once you type Terraform apply, press enter. Then when Terraform shows you the plan, type yes and press enter. And there you go. It is now creating the resources in my AWS environment. I'll wait for it to finish creating the resource. There you go, Terraform has successfully created the resource in my AWS environment. That means my Terraform script is working. Let's go to the S3 bucket we created to verify that the state file is in it. In the S3 bucket that I created, I'm going to click refresh. And there you go, in that S3 bucket, you can see the state file is in it. First, remember we specified build, so it has created the build folder. If I click the build folder, in that folder, you will see the terraform.tf state here. So this is what I was telling you. If you are going to store the state file for multiple projects in the same S3 bucket, first you can create a folder for that project. And in each project folder, you can store the state file for that project in it. Now that we have verified that our terraform state file is in our S3 bucket, let's delete our resource. So I'll go back to my terraform project. In my Terraform project, I'm going to type Terraform destroy. Once you type Terraform destroy, press enter. And when Terraform shows you the plan, type yes and press enter. It is now deleting the resources from my AWS account. This is how you store your Terraform state file in an S3 bucket. If you have any questions or there's any part of this lecture you don't understand, Please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.